Hello, friends. I have been asked to talk about ocean rise because this is a coming threat in your lifetime. The first thing to understand is that everything is always changing. The, the ocean is rising and sinking. The continents are moving. India is pushing up against the Himalayas and the Himalayas are rising an inch or two every year. The Atlantic Ocean is expanding. Don't think things are permanent. Everything in geology as well as in biology is also changing. Uh, so the ocean has always been going up and down. During the last glacial period, when uh, ice was covering much of North America and much of Russia, uh, the ice was uh, much thicker and the oceans were 135 meters lower. 135 meters lower. You could walk to Indonesia, you could walk to Australia, uh, you could walk to Sri Lanka. And then, uh, in other times, the ocean was higher. About three million years ago, when all the glaciers uh, uh, were melt had melted, the ocean was 30 minutes higher, 30 meters higher, so it would have covered all of, the, all of the coastal areas of the world. So that's what's happening. But now it's happening faster because we are burning fossil fuels. We're burning coal, oil, and gas. And that is the reason the Earth has heated 1.2 degrees in the last Two, in the last 200 years. The ocean also has heated 1.2 degrees and that is making a huge difference. So in the last 200 years the ocean has risen 8 inches. 8 inches, that is a lot. And it is continuing to, to rise. Um, and it's not only the ocean rise, it is the surges, the surges. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I will show you here. Uh, uh, the Mumbai. This was the original Mumbai, just islands, and in the 1840s it was filled in uh, to, to to make to make a port. All right. So Mumbai is just above the ocean level. Now. Uh, it was it was predicted that uh, this the, the red parts here would be flooded by ocean surges. This was about 20 years ago that uh, Namri Mumbai and this part of Mumbai would be flooded, but not the business area. However, the recent two, 2050, you compare the business area of Mumbai, it's going to be flooded by surges. In your lifetime, in 30 years, in 30 years, the business area of Mumbai will be flooded. So this is because we are burning coal, oil, gas, and wood, and putting carbon into the air. So uh, 2021, last year, was the warmest year ever measured on the ocean according to NASA, the American Space Agency. So the ocean level, according to the present uh, rate of ice melting, it will rise about one and a half feet by the end of the century. Now, uh, there are many causes of ocean rise, not just one. The ice melt, of course, is the main thing. Of all the ice in the world, 91% is in Antarctica, and it is about three kilometers thick, if you can imagine that. And about 8% uh, of ice is on Greenland. And about 1% of ice is in the mountains like the Himalayas. Now, you know the Arctic is also covered with ice. What percent will that have 
on ocean rise? Zero, because the ice is already floating on the ocean. So if it melts, it won't make any significant difference in the ocean rise. However, there are other things that contribute to ocean rise. For example, the, the plates, the, the continents, the land is moving up and down. As I said, India is pushing up against the Himalayas. Parts of it are rising a little bit. On the American Atlantic coast, it is sinking a little bit. So some places rise a little bit, some places go down a little bit by gravity. In Greenland, the ice is melting, so the Greenland, last, uh, the Greenland land mass is rising a little bit because of gravity. This is happening all over the world. And this is, how is this measured? It is measured by, by drilling, drilling into the ice in Greenland and in Antarctica down to ocean and even below ocean level to see the kind of living things that live there and the, and the kind of water chemistry so the scientists can tell all the chemistry and all about the living things in the ocean at different levels and at different times. So the, 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 the continental plates are rising and sinking and gravity. And then there's another thing. Uh, we now have agriculture all over the world pumping up groundwater. You know here in Tamil Nadu the groundwater has gone down hundreds of feet all over India, all over the world. That groundwater is pumped up and drains into the ocean. It's not a big difference, but it has an effect on, on ocean rise. Salinity, more salinity, where there's more salinity, the ocean is a little bit higher. It's different in different parts of the world, very slightly. And uh, then evaporation, part of the water uh, is not in the ocean, it is in the atmosphere from evaporation uh, or uh, on the surface of the earth from rain. So there are many causes of ocean rise, but the main, the main one is the ice melt and the second main one is ocean heating. Uh, ocean heating uh, increases the volume. You know, when you get something warm, it increases the volume. So ocean heating is responsible for a third or maybe over, uh, half of ocean rise. Uh, and and uh, so that is, is part of the reason now the earth is warmer because we are putting uh, fossil fuel into the air. So that is part of the reason the ocean is rising. And the ocean is heating, I'll show you this coral. Uh, coral has most of the basis of life in the ocean. It is, it is uh, full of multi-species that depend upon each other. Multicolored, multi-species uh, of all sizes and, and uh, chemical, uh, uh, chemical backgrounds. The coral is bleaching because the ocean is warmer and also because the ocean is more acidic from, uh, from the carbon dioxide it holds. You know, as I said, the earth is getting warmer. 90% of the warmer heat in the, in the world is absorbed by the ocean. Why? In the land, the, the surface is getting warmer because we're putting these greenhouse gases in the top of the land. If you dig in the soil a meter and a half, the, the, below that, the temperature is more or less constant. But in the ocean, the top 300 or 500 meters is warming and has warmed and is holding the larger part of the heat that we are causing in the earth. And that is because the earth's ocean is circulating. The, the ocean currents, the, the, uh, the, the Gulf current going from the Atlantic to, to Europe, 
the currents in the Indian Ocean. So those currents mix up the heat in the top of the ocean down to a few hundred meters. So, so the ocean is, is slow in getting the heat and will continue to get heat from the warmer earth and the, and the warmer sunshine. So uh, Greenland melt, Greenland melt has caused the ocean to rise uh, a half an inch in the last 20 years. Last 20 years, a half an inch. Doesn't sound like much, but it has a big effect on, on the coasts. And if all of Greenland melts, the ocean would rise 24 feet, flood out all of the coastal cities. So all of the coastal cities in the world are threatened. You know, in Netherlands, uh, the, the, most of the populated part of Netherlands is below the ocean level today. 200 years ago, it was not. But the ocean has risen, and so the Netherlands has built this huge dam, but most of the people of the Netherlands are below ocean level. How long can they continue building the dams? Even in New York City, people know that the New York will be flooded and they're thinking how to build a dam to, to, keep, the New York, to keep New York City from flooding. So uh, Chennai uh, is, is also subject uh, to, to flooding. Uh, you know that in 2015, there was a terrible flood in Chennai, but it was not caused just by the ocean rise. It was caused because there was a huge rain and uh, they let water out from a dam. Now, because of climate change and uh, ocean warming and the atmosphere warming, rainfall is increasing because it, there's more evaporation from the ocean, so there's more uh, uh, moisture in the atmosphere, and so it is predicted that increasingly rain will come more heavily but in fewer days, causing more destruction. This is already happening, and it will happen uh, again now. Chennai, from the ocean, will will be flooded here. This is this is all land that's been filled in to extend the area of Chennai city. But Chennai will be flooded again, and uh, uh, people have to be aware of that and not build too much on the coast. So, uh, uh, there, there is, we don't know how much the ocean will rise in our lifetime, but in your lifetime, uh, I, not in my lifetime, but in your lifetime, by 2050, uh, there will be enough rise to threaten the, ocean, the cities of the world, not all of them by direct flood, but by surges, surges. You know, the number of cyclones has doubled. Cyclones, or we call them her, uh, 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 typhoons in Japan or, or hurricanes in America. The number of cyclones in the Atlantic Ocean has doubled in the last few years. And the number of cyclones in the Arabian Sea has doubled uh, and will have more effect. The cyclones push the waves of the ocean, push the waves before the wind comes. And those waves are destructive. So those waves will, will uh, have big effect on, uh, on Mumbai here, for example. Uh, you see, before, uh, it, it was not expected that the business area of Mumbai would be flooded. Now we know that by 2050, uh, these waves will flood the business area of Mumbai. So I don't know what people will do. Anyway, uh, there is one big uncertain fact. That is the Antarctic. 
Greenland is melting steadily at a faster rate. The Himalayas are melting steadily at a faster rate. But, but Antarctica is unknown because big, uh, big uh, chunks of ice uh, slowly, slowly come down and begin to float on the ocean. And the ocean is warmer underneath, so it makes the ice warmer underneath beside the atmosphere on top. So big chunks of Antarctica. Um, there is one huge chunk of Antarctica, I don't know, 50 miles, 50, uh, 80 kilometers long, called Twait. And it is cracking, and it is predicted that this chunk of Antarctica will break off within two or three or five or ten years. And if this huge chunk of ice breaks off to Antarctica, the ocean will rise just from that by, by one or two feet. So we don't know when that will happen, but it will happen in this century, maybe in the next ten years. So uh, the advice to you is don't buy or build a house on the coast. <laughs> It might flood out, and you won't even be able to buy insurance because they won't sell insurance to houses that are built right on the coast. So in your lifetime, you think about having your house in a place where the ocean rise and won't flood your house. So that's all. <laughs>